and welcome to the hardest great American bash quiz ever. I'm your host, Adam Wilborn, here to test some of what culture wrestling's greatest minds, including Simon Miller, about their knowledge of the prestigious great American bash, considering we are in the midst of a two-week event here on NXT. We all have two rounds of 10 questions each about the great American bash, and then the top three also will proceed to a last presenter standing categories round. Now, I am trusting our eight contestants here to mark their own answers. So remember, boys, if you cheat, you're only cheating yourself. Any questions? Can I cheat? <laughs> <laughs> right, so the first round is all about non-WWE versions of the great American Bash. Uh, every single one of these questions, I'll give you three possible answers. Just write them down on your piece of paper and we'll answer... Uh, the first 10 questions at the end of this round. Okay. Question number one. What year was the first ever Great American Bash? Was it 1983, 1985, or 1987? Well, I'm glad you do a multiple choice because I... did you write this quiz, actually? I did indeed, mate. Oh, I can find oh, Wilborn hey. Psychology. Get in. First one will be the middle one, lads. He always goes down the middle at the start. Question number two. Two years as well. At the first Great American Bash, Jimmy <laughs> Valiant eight. defeated Paul Jones in what type of match? Was it A, a dog collar match, B, an Indian strap match, or C, a hair versus hair match? First Great American Bash, Jimmy Valiant defeated Paul Jones in what type of match? Dog collar match, Indian strap match, or hair versus hair match? Question number three. Who won the first War Games match at the 1987 Great American Bash? Was it the Four Horsemen? Was it the Road Warriors, Dusty Rhodes, Nikita Kolov, and Paul Ellering? Or was it the Fabulous Freebirds? Weird not having buzzers on this. Very surreal. Mm. Uh, okay, question number four. What year was the last Great American Bash? That does not include the bash, although there will be a question about the bash a little bit later on. Question. What year? Yes. When's this video going out? <laughs> <laughs> We're not including the NXT version. Okay, thank you. The last Great American Bash pay-per-view will not include the weird SmackDown show they did either. What year was the last Great American Bash pay-per-view not including the bash? Was it 2008? Was it 2010? Or was it 2012? I was promised NWA nerd round. This is a WWE question, Will Warren. <laughs> Give us the options again for this part of the quiz. Yeah, you liar. Yeah, I forgot about this question. Uh, what year was the last Great American Bash <laughs> pay-per-view, not including the Bash, 2008, 2010, or 2012? Okay, here's your nerd question, Sige. Thanks, Question mate. five. Who won the tuxedo match at the first NWA WCW Great American Bash? Was it Paul E. Dangerously? Was it J.J. Dillon? Or was it Jim Cornette? Who won the first tuxedo? Who won the tuxedo match? Sorry, at the first NWA WCW Great American Bash, Paulie Dangerously, JJ Dillon, or Jim Cornette? Okay. Question six. Big Van Vader debuted at 1990's Great American Bash. But how long was his match with Tom Zenk? Was it 16 seconds, one minute and 16 seconds, or two minutes and 16 seconds? That's Big Van Vader debuted at 1990's Great American Bash. How long was his match with Tom Zenk? Was it 16 seconds, one minute and 16 seconds, or two minutes and 16 seconds? Okay, question seven. Why did Ric Flair What's quit WCW before the 1991 Great American Bash? 
was it the president wanted him, not the president of the United States, you know what I mean, the president <laughs> wanted him to retire? Was it the president wanted him to take a ridiculous bump? Or was it the president wanted him to change his character? That's why did Ric Flair quit WCW before the 1991 Great American Bash? The president wanted him to retire. The president wanted him to take a ridiculous bump. Or the president wanted him to change his character. I'm glad these are multiple choice because I don't know any of these. <laughs> <laughs> Question eight. Who were crowned the inaugural NWA World Tag Team Champions at the Great American Bash 1992? Was it the Miracle Violence Connection? Was it Dustin Rhodes and Barry Windham? Or was it the fabulous Freebird? Who, was crowned, who were crowned the inaugural NWA World Tag Team Champions at the Great American Bash 1992? The Miracle Violence Connection, Dustin Rhodes and Barry Windham, and the or the fabulous Freebird? Question nine. I really like this one. Dave Sullivan won a date with Diamond Doll at the Great American Bash 1995 after an arm wrestling match with DDP. But what would DDP have won if he won the arm wrestle? Was it the WCW TV Championship? Was it Sullivan's car? Or was it Sullivan's pet rabbit, Ralph? <laughs> <laughs> I love Ralph. Right. that. Gotta be that. <laughs> That's sounds like Bill Bond's band. Nah, there's no. The he would never, Ralph, have got, no he never would have named the rabbit. If that was a Will Bond plant, it would just be rabbit. That's perfect. Question ten. Final question in this round. Which of these matches didn't take place at the final WCW Great American Bash in the year two thousand? A Human Torch match. An ambulance match or a death match? Which of these matches didn't take place at the final WCW Great American Bash in 2000? So that's our first round done. Before I give you your answers, so you can mark your own points down. Anyone want any questions repeating? Nope. Uh, seven. Please. Seven. Okay. Uh, why did Ric Flair quit WCW before the 1991 Great American Bash? Was it the president wanted him to retire? The president wanted him to take a ridiculous bump? Or the president wanted him to change his character? Okay. Right, everyone ready for the answers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, question number one. What year was the first ever Great American Bash? It was... 1985. Hey. <laughs> so you went down the middle. Yes. It was down the middle. Is the next one A? Uh, question number two. Uh, the first Great American Bash, Jimmy Valiant defeated Paul Jones in what type of match? Dog collar match, Indian strap match, hair versus hair match. It was A, a dog <laughs> collar match. Get in. Get out of my head, Adam Cleary. Thanks, Matt Cleary. Always goes middle. It always goes middle. Always goes middle. Uh, question three. Who won the first War Games match at the 1987 Great American Bash? Uh, the Four Horsemen, the Road Warriors, Dusty Rhodes, Nikita Kolov and Paul Hellering, or the Fabulous Freebirds? It was B, the Road Warriors, Dusty Rhodes, Nikita Kolov and Paul Ellering. Uh, question number four. What year was the last Great American Bash? It was, of course, 2008. Oh. Famous uh, Jim Crockett promotion. Ten. A few events yeah, of 2008. I forgot about that one, I'll be honest. Uh, next question. Who won the tuxedo match at the first NWA WCW Great American Bash? It was Jim Cornette. Yes. Defeating Paul E. Dangerously. Uh, question number if that was on Six. dynamite, you'd have a fit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I dropped that one in there. Question six. Big Van Vader debuted at 1990's Great American Bash. How long was his match with Tom Zenk? It was two minutes and 16 seconds. 
Question seven. Why did Ric Flair quit WCW before the 1991 Great American Bash? Of course, he was going to go in there and defending his World Heavyweight Championship against Lex Luger, I do believe. Uh, but he quits because the president wanted him to change his character. This was the whole Jim Hurd, make yourself Spartacus thing. Yes, Adam Cleary. Was that C? I just wrote down C. Yes, yes. that was C. Yes, he wanted him Amazingly, to Amazingly, drop... I only appear to be getting one third of the ones I guessed right. That's just... <laughs> um, yes, this was the whole, he wanted him to drop down to the mid card and become Spartacus. And he went, no, bye, and took the big gold belt with him. And it all ended happily, of course. Uh, question eight. Who were crowned the inaugural NWA World Tank Team Champions at the Great American Bash 1992? It was A, the Miracle Violence Connection, Dr. Brilliant. Death, Steve Williams, and Terry Gordy, of course. Literally picked them because who doesn't pick Miracle Violence Connection? <laughs> I <laughs> love that name. Best I, name. I, I went Freebirds because I had them in the other one as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I, they caught my eye for that question, I've got to be honest. Uh, okay, <laughs> Dave Sullivan won a date with Diamond Doll at the Great American Bash 1995 in an arm wrestling match. What would DDP have won if he won the arm wrestle? Was it the WCW TV Championship, Sullivan's car, or Sullivan's pet rabbit, Ralph? It was, of course, Sullivan's yes! pet rabbit, <laughs> Ralph. Hey. I, as, I was, as I was writing this question, I thought, there's literally nothing I can create that's going to be as good as this answer. I thought. <laughs> uh, okay, question 10. Which of these matches didn't take place at the final WCW Great American Bash in 2000? Human Torch match, ambulant match, or death match? It did not have a death match. That happened a few years before. Featuring, I do believe, our friend, Simon Miller's friend in particular, Haku Meng at the time. <laughs> um, so there we have it. First 10 questions. Let's go round and find out at what everyone's scores are. We'll go round in the order that we can see on the screen. So we'll start with Adam Cleary. How'd you get on? I got six, but two of those were just guessing your pattern, so... Andy Murray? I got nine, and I got screwed over by an nine. ambulance. Ah. Gareth Morgan? I got five. I thought that was good. Uh, Wrestling Encyclopedia, Michael Hamlet? I got nine, and I got punished for not going for Miracle Violence. You fool! Wow. You fool. Uh, Adam, Nic <laughs> Adam Nicholas? I got six, and I have no idea what any of them are, but the name, the picking the good names seems to be working, so I'm going to stick with that. Phil Chambers. I got five. Sorry. Uh, Michael Sidgwick. I got seven, and I got 40 chest by your terrible patter. <laughs> Ralph the <laughs> Rabbit. <laughs> uh, That's seven. Miller, how'd you get? I got seven, which is, is all okay. right. I'll take it. That is all to play for in the second round of questions, all about the WWE version of the great american bash of course what a lineage this is okay uh this one first question only has two possible answers uh but same sort of thing here for this second round okay question number one in round two who did the undertaker pin at the great american bash 2004 before <sighs> burying paul bearer oh, in concrete sugar. was it bubba ray dudley or was it dean oh. von dudley oh Bollock. Faced both Dudley boys. Uh, there was the glass case with Paul Bear in, and then he just decided to bury him in concrete. Anyway, but who did the Undertaker pin? Was it Bob Ray Dudley or was it Devon Dudley? Huh. I forgot Bastard. about these questions. That's, Question, two. Ben Roy. Question two. Question <laughs> <laughs> two. How many. <laughs> How many people were left wearing just their bra and panties after the bra and panties oh match God. at the Great American Bash 2005? Easy Ben Roy question. Was it one, two, or three? How many people were left wearing just their bra and panties after the bra and panties match at the Great American Bash 2005? One, two, or three? Question three. What star rating did Dave Meltzer give the <laughs> inaugural Punjabi prison match at the Great American Bash oh, 2006? Was it zero stars? Was it minus one star? Or was it 
minus five stars. Wow. <laughs> five. Okay. Question four. <laughs> Why did Cody Rhodes make an appearance at the Great American Bash 2007? Was he in the dark match? Did he appear to kick Vince McMahon in the nuts? <laughs> or did he appear to stop Randy Orton punting his dad in the head? Why did Cody Rhodes make an appearance at the Great American Bash 2007? That feels obvious. Mm. Uh, but... question, question five. Who was crowned the first ever Divas champion? What a belt that was at the Great American Bash 2008. Was it Natalia? Was it Michelle McCool? Or was it Maurice? Who first got their hands on that beautiful butterfly belt at the Great American Bash 2008? Was it Natalia, Michelle McCool, or Maurice? I know your patterns for this answer, so I can automatically rule out one of them. Question. <laughs> Question six. Which of these wasn't a match in the three stages of hell between Triple H and Randy Orton at the bash? A good one. A, <laughs> a cage match, a falls count anywhere match, or a stretcher match? Which of these wasn't a match in the three stages of hell between Triple H Rand and Randy Orton at the bash. Okay, question seven. What pay-per-view replaced the Great American Bash, or that, after that year, the bash, in June 2010? Was it Fatal 4-Way, Over the Limit, or Extreme Rules? What pay-per-view replaced the Great American Bash or the bash it had been the previous year in June 2010? Fatal four-way, over the limit, or extreme rules? Right, question eight. Who won the Great American Bash 20-man battle royal on SmackDown in 2012? Was it Kane? Was it Zack Ryder? Or was it... Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Who won the Great American Bash 20-man Battle Royal on SmackDown in 2012? Kane, Zack Ryder, or Dolph Ziggler? Question Imagine nine. The Imagine the life <laughs> it must leave. Question nine. You leave him alone, Cedric. He works hard. <laughs> <laughs> now, this is only based off me just doing a quick scan over Wikipedia, so it might not be correct, but it probably is. Question nine. Who has appeared on the most <laughs> promotional posters for the Great American Bash for the WWE? <laughs> Who has appeared on the most promotional posters for the Great American Bash? Is it A, Tory Wilson, B, John Cena, or C, Batista? And I'm including, I'm including the bash in this, by the way. Who has appeared on the most promotional posters for WWE's version of the Great American Bash? Tory Wilson, John Cena, or Batista? Final question. Not including the bash, how many Great American Bash pay-per-views have there been? So that obviously doesn't include the SmackDown show or NXT. Uh, how many Great American Bash pay-per-views have there been? 19, 22, or 25? So this obviously includes the old lineage as well. Yes, all the way back right to the beginning. Right the way back Not as to prominent. 1985. Uh, how many Great American Bash pay per views have there been? 19, 22, or 25? Anyone want any questions repeated? Uh, yeah, can you repeat six, please? Uh, which, yes, which of these wasn't a match in the three stages of hell between Triple H and Randy Orton at the Bash? Cage match, 
Falls Count Anywhere match or Stretcher match. Okay, here we go through the second round of answers. Question number one, who did The Undertaker pin at the Great American Bash 2004 before burying Paul Bearer in concrete? It was Devon yes. Dudley. Of course, Devon took the fall before The Undertaker buried Paul Bearer in concrete. Question number two, how many people were left wearing just their bra and panties after the bra and panties match at the Great American Bash 2005? One, two, or three? Of course, it's three. Yeah. <laughs> Dirty bastard. Wilborn, how much money would I have to pay you to never say the word panties again? <laughs> There's no money in the world, mate. There were three people left wearing just their bra and panties. Uh, Melina and Tori Wilson were competing in the match. Uh, and then the referee, Candice Michelle, decided to strip down afterwards too. There we go. Send the fans home happy. Question three. What star rating did Dave Meltzer give the inaugural Punjabi prison match at the Great American Bash 2006? It was quite kind. He only gave it minus one star. Three for three. Question was minus four. one star even one of the options? It was the second. Did you say it was zero, <laughs> minus two, and minus five? No. <laughs> uh, was minus two one of the options? Because I wrote no. minus two. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I may have said option two, but I sincerely doubt. Yeah, but if you, he's technically right. Anyway, technically right, because he's got the right, the right. Yeah, that's the one I was going for. I'm giving You're it. Yeah, it to me. I think you should have it. I think you should have it. it. Doesn't matter. Like you got it wrong. You got it wrong. Question <laughs> four. <laughs> Why did Cody Rhodes make an appearance at the Great American Bash 2007? He was there to stop Randy Orton punting his dad in the head, of course. Thought it was a swerve. Uh, question five. Who was crowned the first ever Divas champion at the Great American Bash 2008? It was the woman the Undertaker fell in love with when she threw a perfect spiral, Michelle McCool. <laughs> <laughs> Only the performer AJ Styles could have been. <laughs> Question six. Which of these wasn't a match in the three stages of hell between Triple H and Randy Orton at the bash? We all remember it so well, of course. There was no cage match. Ugh. It was what? a... There was a stretcher match in it. Straightforward singles match. a stretcher. Match, full stretcher. Five-star classic. That's my Ben Roy Turner impression. <laughs> it was a singles match. There's no way to stretch a match. Yeah, that's what that's how it finished. A singles match, false count anywhere match, and then they went to a stretcher match. And of course, Legacy got involved because, yeah, that's the Ben Roy era for you. Never, uh, never, question, never. question seven: uh, What pay per view replaced the Great American Bash in June 2010? It was the classic Fatal Four Way. It's the only question I knew on this whole thing. The only one I knew for definite. I think that's when I, I knew it was it. Yeah. That's when I knew it was just one. They had a pay-per-view called Fatal 4-Way. I was like, all right, okay. It's crap, this. <laughs> Absolutely crap. If you wait, next week we'll be doing the hardest Fatal 4-Way quiz ever, so don't remember that. <laughs> uh, question eight. How about just Who getting more won... than four people on Discord? <laughs> <laughs> Who won the Great American Bash 20-man Battle Royal on SmackDown in 2012? It was Zack Ryder. Oh, no! I was doing so well! Last eliminating Kane, I do believe. Oh, I went for the big red bastard, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> I went for Zack <laughs> Uh, question nine, who has appeared on the most promotional posters for WWE's Great American Bash? Batista. <gasps> Narrowly edging out Tori Wilson. She was on the first couple, according to Wikipedia, at least. Yes, I wrote Cena down and crossed it out for Tori Wilson. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hall of Fame speech. Excuse me? <clears throat> You're the subject of Tori Wilson's Hall of Fame speech. Not it doesn't matter. I'll tell you later, mate. I'll tell you later, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, final question. How many Great American Bash pay-per-views have there been, not including the Bash? There have been 19. <laughs> so there we have it. 20 questions. The hardest Great American Bash quiz ever. <laughs> quiz. Quiz. 
quick. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see who's going to make it through to our final round. Adam Cleary, how did you get on? I got the first five right and was like, here it is, an unbelievable comeback, then got the last five wrong. So I got five, which gives me a total of 11. Okay. Andy Murray? I got six, so I finished on 15. Okay. Gareth Morgan? Okay. Michael Hamflet? Eight, so I finished on 17. Adam Nicholas? Four in the last round, so that makes it 10 altogether. Okay. Phil Chambers? I got seven, so I get 12. Oh. Michael Sidgwick? Um, I got seven. Again, take me to 14. Oof. And finally, Simon Miller? I got six, so a total of 13. Ooh. So, correct me if I'm wrong. Is that Hamlet, Sidgwick and Miller? How did you get Andy? 15. Oh, sorry. So that's Miller. No. Um, I'm out. <laughs> I'm definitely out. <laughs> Hamlet, Hamlet, Murray and Sidgwick, yes? Why was that so hard? There we go. Okay. <laughs> Get there again. <laughs> uh, right. Well, thanks to the rest of our players. Thank you to Adam Cleary, to Gareth Morgan, to Adam Nicholas, to Phil Chambers and to Simon Miller. But Michael Sidgwick, Michael Hamflet, and Andy Murray, you go through to our final round. So here we are, the final round of the hardest Great American Bash quiz ever. Things change up a little bit here. We're switching over to our last man standing style quiz, where I'm going to give our three finalists, Andy Murray, Michael Hamflet, and Michael Sidgwick, a category. And we're going to go around having them name someone who's done something, for example, being WWE champion, until there is only one remaining. To make things easier on all of us, we're just going to go in the order I could see you. So Andy Murray, followed by Michael Hamlet, followed by Michael Sidgwick. And your category is, don't forget, you can repeat answers. You can take as long as you need. Don't take a piss, though. Uh, but if you give a wrong answer, you are eliminated. Your category is, considering this is the Great American Bash, after all, United States Champions. There's a hefty list I've got in front of me here. I have 97, no, more than that. At least over 100 names to go from here. Andy Murray, name as the first uh, United States champion you would like to give, sorry. John Cena. Okay, I'm going to try and delete these from my list as we go to make things a little bit easier. John Cena is, of course, correct. Uh Five championship reigns for Mr. Cena. Michael Hamlet. Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews is, of course, correct at the time of recording. He okay. is the United States champion. Michael Sidgwick. Andrade. Andrade is correct. Back to you, Andy Murray. Rusev. Rusev. Correct. Michael Hamlet. Mysterio. Ray Mysterio is right. Sige. Ric Flair. Flair is, of course, correct. Wow. 773 days as United States champion. Uh, Andy Murray. JBL. Just have to change my thing there to change it to John Bradshaw Layfield, but that is, of course, correct. Uh, Michael Hamlet. For the United States community, AJ Styles. You get is correct. Uh, Sidge. Ricky Steamboat. Ricky Steamboat is, of course, correct. Which means it goes back to you, Andy Murray. Dean Ambrose. 350 days as United States champion. Dean Ambrose is on the list. Hamlet. MVP. 
tell Von Davis Porter ranked number five in total days as United States champion. Sige. Have we had Jinder Mahal yet? I don't believe we have. Andy Murray. I've gone blank. Uh, Chris Canyon? <laughs> Chris Canyon, one reign, 46 days is recognized by, well, wrestling uh, is correct. <laughs> uh, <laughs> flip. Ricochet. Rick O'Shea. Richard O'Shea, as he was dubbed, <laughs> is correct. Uh, Sage. Have you had Carlito yet? We have not had Carlito. Andy Murray. Dolph Ziggler. Two reigns as the United States champion. Dolph Ziggler is on there. Michael Hanflet. Shinsuke Nakamura. Correct. Michael Sidgwick. What a worthless, arbitrary, random lineage. Um, the Miz. Miz is correct. This goes back to you, Andy Murray. Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho is on there. Michael Hamlet. Uh, Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy's there. Michael Sidgwick. Literally pick any WWE mid card in the past 15 years. Orlando <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Bloody hell. 170 odd days. Wow. Um, Andy Murray. Kevin Owens. Oh, a classic reign. Kevin Owens. Well, he's had three. Uh, yes, is correct. Michael Hamlet. Oh, my God, a shave and looks like James Corden. Uh, Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode is correct. Sidgwick. Not an endorsement, Chris Ben. Yeah. One of the longest combined reigns, Chris Benoit, is correct. Uh, Andy Murray. Bob Lashley. Lashley is there. Michael hey. Hamlet. Uh, Samoa Joe. Doing great things on commentary right now. But yes, he was a former United States champion. Michael Sidgwick. Roddy Piper. Is on there. Andy Murray. Who's been a mid-carder? Big show. He's got to be on there. 147 days. What? When? How you guys when? that stupid belt for so bloody long? A bit over his shoulder, it looked like a novelty watch. <laughs> uh, Roman Reigns. Yes. Oh, he did it. Oh. That's when he wore it over his shoulder, wasn't he? Put it over his back or whatever it was. Yeah, uh, Michael Stitchwick. I'm wasting my deepest knowledge here. Blackjack Mulligan. Black. 500 days combined reigns. Uh, back to you, Andy Murray. Edge. One reign, six days, but he's on there. What? <laughs> Hamlet. Uh, 2001 Cedric, he consolidated it with Test. Holly Race. Holly Race, yes, is there. Go back to you, Sidge. I've had Goldberg, yeah. We have not, and he's on the list. Andy Murray, back to you. Uh, on a similar line to Harley Race, Terry Funk. 
Happy yes. birthday yesterday. At time of recording. There we go. I covered you. Uh, <laughs> Michael Hamlet. A similar kind of worker to Terry Funk, Kalisto. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Kalisto has held it for over 120 days combined. <laughs> Michael Sidgwick. Lance Storm. Storm is in there. Correct. Andy Murray. Cesaro. <laughs> Antonio Cesaro, 239 days as United States champion. Michael Hanflet. Uh, Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger's there, and he's number 69. Nice. Michael Sidgwick. Right back? <laughs> oh. Now, Ryback is not on my list. Ah, oh, man. Double check this in case Ryback is not there. God damn that blackjack mulligan. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first what time Ryback's done that over. <laughs> uh, Andy Murray, back to you. Um, Booker T. Yes. Booker T is correct. Michael Hamlet. And Corbin. 70 days, correct. Andy Murray. Vince McMahon's not illegitimate son, Mr. Kennedy. There he is, yes. Hamlet, back to you. I see ya. Buffy Kingston. Kofi Kingston, yes, of course, he was United States champion on three separate occasions. Andy, back to you. Uh, uh, Zach Ryder. <laughs> Zach Ryder. Yep, Zach Ryder's there. Hey, I'm just naming Mid Carter. Hamlet. We had Bret Hart. No, we have not. Hot. Andy, back to you on the, on the role of Midgarders. Um, Santino. Santino Morella, 167 days. Uh, have it back to you. Uh, Shelton Benjamin. Yep. Andy. I've run out of mid carders. Who was in <laughs> Who was in WCW? Scott Steiner. Two reigns as the United States champion. Scott Steiner is there. Amplet. A rhino. Yep. Andy. DDP. Yes. Amplet. We had Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle has not been mentioned. Only 21 days, but he was United States champion. Beat Rhino. That's all. Andy. <laughs> Eddie Guerrero. Now there's a name we all know is on this list. Hey. Yes, Eddie Guerrero. Legend. And no, back to you, sorry, Michael Hamlet. Finley. Finley? <laughs> He loves to fight, and he has been United States champion. One reign, 49 days. Andy, back to you. Oh, God. Lex Luger's got to have held that thing in WCW. Number one on this list, a combined 950 days. Astonishing that hey. no one's mentioned him, yes. Yet it is I correct. I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hamlet, back to you, mate. Um, UG Rection. I'm so <laughs> glad you mentioned him because I've seen his name as I was scrolling past it and I thought, well, if no one mentions him, I'm going to have to give him a shout out. Yes. That's how I feel looking at my own t-shirt with Kevin Nash's face on. Yes. <laughs> Andy. 
general <laughs> rector man. <laughs> um, let's go. Huh. Sean Spears' dad, uh, Barry Windham. Barry Windham, yes, 293 days in his one reign as United States champion. We're thinning out the names now. Back to you, Michael Hamphlet. Yoshihiro Tajiri. One reign, 13 days, but they all count. Andy, back to you. Uh, Dusty Rhodes? Yes, Dusty Rhodes is on there. Hamlet. David Flair. 35 days. Yep. Andy. Dustin Rhodes. The natural. Good. Oh, hello. said Dustin, didn't you? Not Dusty. Yeah, Dustin. Don't see it. Let me double check. Oh, no. What a disaster. Don't think his name is... Oh, wait a second. There it is. Oh, <laughs> did he actually hold it? I just went with a Rhodes. <laughs> <laughs> Randy Rhodes. <laughs> oh, look at this. Why is that not appeared? Yeah, there it is. Weird. Oh. Yes, that is correct. Apologies there. No idea where that's gone. Anyway, uh, Hamlet. Um, have we had Scott Hall? We have not had Scott Hall yet. Andy, back to you. A good old DDP. Okay. Yes, we've had him. What about, what about, what about, what about... WCW baby faces. Sting. Yes, Sting has held it. This ongoing uh pamphlet. Back to you. Um Rick Steiner. Ugh. Gross. He's held it too, yep. Yeah. Um, nice intense. Andy Murray. Stunning Steve. Steve Austin. Definitely seen his name. Yes. Two reigns, 240 days combined. I'll have, to back come, to you. I'll have to come clean here. Literally the only wrestling I've watched in lockdown is 90s WCW. So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hamlet. Uh, picture of people wearing it at this point. Uh, Hennig. Yes. He's correct. Andy? Vader. Big Van Vader has held it for 88 days. The Big Van. Pamphlet, back to you. Oh, no. Yes, staring at him on this list is correct. Andy? We've said Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Uh, D. Malenko? Yes. <laughs> so many names on this list. You said Eddie Guerrero. I picked up my goddamn pen to write down D. Malenko. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh. yeah. Your uh, favourite. Still, still a fair few names, though, to get on this. It's thinned oh. out quite a lot, but still a fair few names. Back to you, Michael Hamlet. And very similar to Dino Machino. <laughs> Steve McMichael. <laughs> Yes, he held it for 25 days. Never mind all that. Here comes Mungo. Uh, back to you, Andy Murray. That's our Mungo. Um, <laughs> K-Dog. Conan. I think we've had Conan. We had yes, Conan. We, I think so, yes. Michael Hamflet's boy, Jeff Jarrett. Double J is correct. Oh, God. Have a seat, Mikel. Oh, it's me getting taken to court. Um, one man gang. Oh, Thirty-three days. They really uh, let everyone have this title, didn't they? <laughs> I don't uh, even we know were... when that was. Uh, 
Andy, back to you. We've had Ricky Steamboat. He feuded a lot with Rick Rude in the 90s. So I'm going to say Rick Rude. One reign over a year. Rick Rude has been United States champion. Get out of my pad, can, Murray. Get out of my I pad. Can, I can do his pose pretty convincingly with these guns. <laughs> uh, I haven't got any more. The lesson then. Never <laughs> keep Rick Rude in your back pocket ever. Um, <laughs> Michael Hayes. Michael P.S. Hayes. He's on this list. He's near the bottom, but he's he only held it for 15 days, but he has been United States champion. Now the names have really thinned out. Andy, back to you. Let's let's go, Jim Crockett, baby. Um Magnum TA. Magnum TA is on that list near the top as well. Uh Hamflet. Um, on worst night of Steve Austin's career here. Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Yes, 100 days as the United States champion. Oh, actual Jim, Jim oh. Duggan is on there. Andy, back to you. Tully Blanchard. 130 days, correct. Straight yeah, back. people I like from the NWA here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mine that well as well, but I don't know if this one's right. Nikita Koloff. He was right near the top. Yes, nearly a year as the United States champion. Andy. This is incredible for you too, by the way. Surely, for the love of all that is good and pure, Sergeant Slaughter held this thing. Surely. Two reigns, 305 days combined is correct. You have wiped out American. the first, what, 20 or so names, I'd say here. Get it. He was in between guy for Wahoo McDaniel. Wahoo McDaniel, oh. five reigns, 300 combined days. There's only Money on one the loop name. with the Sarge. There's only one name in the top 20 of like combined reigns <laughs> that you haven't got yet, which is amazing. Jesus Christ. I had Wahoo McDaniel in my back pocket, Hamlet, you little <laughs> person. Um, the guy who had the really good collar match with Roddy Piper, whose name is leaving me. Um, Greg the Hammer Valentine is the one that was missing uh, 512 days or 392 days as, re as recorded by the WWE. Greg, Valentine, you've wiped yeah, out yeah, like yeah. the top 20, 25 names here. Hamlet, you have the final, well, I say final few, there's probably still about 20, 15 maybe, but yeah, tough, tough ones to get now. Hamlet, back to you. All the original 20 are gone, did you say? The, the 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 like most reigns uh, the longest. <laughs> oh, sorry, time. right, right, okay, right. Yeah. But, uh, I might have it. Dirty Dick Slater. Dick <laughs> Slater is there. Oh, you shouldn't have said the word dirty, mate, because I've got Dirty Bertie Alberto Del Rio. <laughs> is correct. <laughs> oh, damn it! Really good one as well. <laughs> no. Stan Hansen? It's a crap. He's there. 50 <laughs> days. This is, this is insane how many of these you're getting. Our truth. Our truth is there. <laughs> the only video ever where we will go from Stan Hansen to our truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, any more for you, Michael Hamlet? Um, Sid. Like ben, Sid, vicious. Sid Vicious. Yes, is correct. Any more, Andy? This is there's barely has, any left. Has, surely somebody said Randy Orton. No one has said Randy Orton, and he was United States champion oh, for man. 28 days. Hmm. Uh, Jane Douglas? 22 days as United States <laughs> champion. Oh, no. It's easier if I count how many people are left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
12, I think, people left on this list now. Out of about 100 we started with. Um... Who's really old? <laughs> <laughs> or who's really new? Oh, lads, I'm, I'm running on fumes here. And Mike Awesome. Don't see a mic awesome. There's not any other names he could be. Any other Glad names? Can, uh, Gladiator? That was in Japan for it's, it's Mike Awesome's probably was not that, there. Yes, was Mike that so just, just... Don't think he's there. Um he was involved in it, obviously. He was in the final, he faced Lance Storm on Nitro for the vacant title, and he was facing Scott Steiner at Bash of the Beach. But Scott Steiner was stripped of the title when he refused, when he used the band Steiner recliner. I can't see any Mike Awesome on this list. No Mike Awesome. I've been undone by Mike Awesome. And so there's, one, there's one Mike Awesome right here. <laughs> I'll be the Masato Tanaka to your Mike Awesome anyway. Uh, I think oh. I had, it, yeah, I had I think... one old guy left in the bank. <laughs> Who was that? that? Was right. I, had, I don't even know if this is right. I had Bobo Brazil in the old back pocket. <laughs> I don't even know. Bobo right. Brazil is correct. I'll just run you through the other names. Uh, we had uh, Mr. Wrestling. <laughs> yeah. Sequel. Rest in peace. Uh, we had Raven, who had a one-day oh. reign. Seth Rollins. <laughs> Whoops. Kensuke Sasaki. Matt Hardy. Johnny Valentine. Dusty Rhodes, although we sort of did that because I sort of, we did that with the Dustin Rhodes thing. Uh, Paul Jones. Weasel. Uh, Jimmy Snooker, Seamus, and Daniel Bryan. Oh. <laughs> How have we not got Seamus and Daniel Bryan? Oh, oh my, I've just pulled my earphone out in rage. <laughs> when they have United States title matches, matches get changed in a Battle Royals one by the great Kali. So, <laughs> How have you got Bobo Brazil in Wahoo McDaniel? <laughs> Wahoo McDaniel Bryan? Well, that was quite the marathon congratulations to both of you that was a, a sensational effort but uh, uh michael hamlet emerges victorious from yeah, the hardest on. great american bash oh. quiz ever let us know how you got on in the comment section below that could well I'm absolutely that that was. Uh, don't forget to like share and subscribe and subscribe to what culture wrestling on either itunes spotify or wherever you get your podcast from for daily wrestling podcasts where we also do a hashtag bloody good quiz on a Friday on wrestle culture. Plus, you can let us know your thoughts uh, and uh, how you got on on Twitter at what culture WWE. While you're there, you can follow all three of us. You can follow Andy Murray at you can follow me at Andy H. Murray. You're not getting a H because you've been sitting here for an hour and a half. So that's <laughs> you it. Can follow Michael Hamlet at Michael Hamlet. Please go do something else with your time other than this or me or Murray or any of us. You can follow or any of us. Set. Some of us have to stay yeah, and do this goddamn quiz. I've been waiting for ages. I have been screaming Seth Rollins at this screen for the last 30 minutes. Oh, I'm back out. You can follow our lovely editor, Adam Nicholas, at It's Adam Nicholas. You can follow me at Adam Wilborn. Follow us all at What Culture WWE. This has been the hardest Great American Bash quiz ever. We will hopefully be back with one around uh, Extreme Rules. But who knows after that? Uh, commiserations to Andy Murray. Congratulations to Michael Hamlet. Thank you to everyone who joined us. Oh, and we will see you soon. Wave, everyone. Turn it down. <laughs>